Welcome back to Building Modern APIs with RESPO. My name is Matteo and today we are going to uh, talk about uh, some advanced uh, stuff. Uh, things that you may want to do or may not, but uh, you will probably not find a real need for it. But still, I think it's a good exercise to go through a little bit of the code base. So we said in the last videos that uh, some of the stuff related to how we build the query to get the list and the, um, how to load the entities is done in the data provider entity. And uh, how would we alter this behavior if we needed to uh, change something? So uh, get, for instance, this method here of the resource, uh, sorry, the data provider entity. Uh, this will add some met metadata to the, to the query in order to provide some more context or understanding to any possible query alterations that you can do. So basically here you can uh, attach some extra information that you want to provide along with the query. So we're gonna uh, do the exercise to have the bands to add some dummy information. Uh, basically what we are going to do is do something like uh, bands and then do something stupid, I don't know, um, my band. So this will show up in the query metadata. So this doesn't add a real functionality, but uh, this is only to show you how you can uh, get full power over the data provider entity. Since this is in a separate object, this can get a little bit confusing to to do. So we don't want to do this because obviously you don't want to hack the country module and you want to do it just for your custom module. So how we do that? Uh, because here we are inheriting from resource node and resource node has an object of the data provider entity inside of it, but uh, it's not a data provider entity itself. So we cannot do something like override this method here and hope that this method is executed in place of this one because this is uh, not going to work because just as I said if you see uh, this this uh, this one extends resource entity and resource entity extends resource and it ends there this is just the, the plugin so um, in order to in order to provide the alternative per data provider, sorry, um, what we're going to do is first we're going to create the class. So I'm going to go to RESTful Tutorial, SRC, Plugin, Resource. Uh, probably here we can create, remember that we can have the data, the folder structure that we want, data provider. And in here we can create a class called data provi provider band and say that this is Drupal RESTful tutorial. And then is uh, we skip this one and we got plugin resource and data provide provider all right so um, yeah here we are good uh, first of all I want to extend the data provider entity so this is because I want to inherit all of the behavior that we have in data provider entity but add some some more extra so in here what i'm going to do is override method and again i pull up this menu doing command n in my mac uh, and i'm going to override this one 
Okay. Mm, I'm just going to do a nice. Up. Oh, there we go. So this will uh, call the parent, and this is data provider entity extra info to query, and uh, this is going to go and execute this. So we want to add uh, this. Uh, sorry. We said that we wanted to add the metadata and say band my band. Okay, cool, great. Uh, we already have our data alternative data provider with the overloaded information, but how do we tie this to the bench resource? So uh, for that, uh, we need to uh, check the get data provider method and go to the to the resource and you'll see that uh, basically uh, this is going to get the data provider and the data provider is populated by the data provider factory and again the data provider factory what it does is it gets oops the class name for data provider class name and it instantiates the the data provider and then that gets stored in the resource so basically we need to just get this so as you can see for the resource the data provider class name is set to data provider null but for the resource sorry resource entity and i'm going to move that over here for the resource entity if we go to the data provider class name you'll see that uh, there's a little bit of uh, more smart decision making and depending on the type of the entity it's going to load one data provider or another so uh, in our case we want our data provider to inherit uh, and I realize now that we didn't want to inherit from data provider entity but from data provider node alright so now that is changed and what we're going to do is we're going to in our resource because this is the generic resource entity in our research, we're going to overload this method. And I'm going to delete this because we already said that this is not going to work. We already know that we need to put it in the data provider band. Um, I'm going to implement this or overwrite this method. And I'm going to just paste the class name the fully qualified class name so oops return and string and there we go that's it uh, that's all that you need to do maybe add some nice dog block sorry I cannot type and talk at the same time um, and uh right that's it so let's make sure that this is actually happening so what i'm going to do i could do something like mm -hmm, in here could do function rest full tutorial query tag alter and replace tag by band uh, so uh, this will stop in the um, let me show you 
the documentation for that. You're probably already familiar with that, but this will perform alterations into a, a query for a given tag. So we add it in here. Uh, where is the data provider bands? Did I close it? Band. We added some metadata. Uh, we can add a tag if we want, but uh, just know that oops, this already has a tag so let me fix this uh, this is not band but rest full and for the query uh, get metadata band and see See what's the contents of that. So I'm gonna put, uh, oops, a breakpoint here, and ah oh man, I I don't really know if I have this, uh, the debugger set up for this. For this Vega machine, so I have this uh, example in the Vega machine, and I don't know if that is set up. So I'm gonna do, uh, Drupal set message. And uh, I'm gonna output this. And yeah, that that looks good. Okay. So for all of the queries tagged with RESTful, and those are going to be tagged with RESTful because in the data provider band, we're calling the parent and the par parent ultimately adds this tag in here. So that's good. We are going to get the metadata for band and we're going to output it. So, all right, uh, let's see if that works. Contrib local bands. I'm gonna make a call that's gonna set, oops. Uh, huh, we got access denied, so something went wrong there. But anyways, uh, in any case, if I refresh here, um, I'm not getting the output of this. So why is that? Hmm. Maybe I should really try and debug this. X debug up. Session start, PHP storm. Mm. All right. Uh, this look good. That's not it. Um, all right, so it's stopping here, and let me see what gets this get data provider class name. Ah, sorry. All right. So it's RESTful tutorial. Oh, I know what's going on. Sorry. I need to rebuild my registry because I just created that class and uh, that hasn't been picked up by the registry autoloader. So whenever you uh, do changes of this nature you can do drush ECO or drush rr or even both if you uh, feel feel like it so uh yeah let's see if this works now so we are stopping here in the public field so i'm going to remove this 
and you're going to continue okay yeah as you can see we are uh, stopping in our data provider band so this is great because instead of using the data provider node that we would be using we are using our own so again then when we do the tag alter we're stopping here and of course um, I'm going to just continue this and then of course we get the list and if we refresh this this should pull up the the Drupal set message there we go my band so yeah that's cool so basically what we did to recap is we went into the band into the band's resource and we provided the class that we want to instantiate in place of the default one so uh, we know now how to uh, to hook our resource with a data provider with a different data provider and creating a class for it the data provider band wasn't that hard and then here we are overriding the prop the methods that we need and in this case it was a stupid method that we don't really need but that was good for for the exercise so uh, even though in the uh, new architecture for uh, restful 2.x you don't have immediate access to overwrite any behavior in your resource class you can pretty easily get to that by doing this trick so I hope that this um, this was of your use and uh, yeah, it was a pretty bit of an advanced topic but since I mentioned it in, in a previous video I wanted to, to cover it so yep, have fun!